of you welcome you to the grand finale of interbank quiz competition banking chanakya presented by indian institute of banking and finance as a part of our 90 year celebration we had decided to introduce this all india quiz program and we are very happy and encouraged that as many as 3000 teams from all over india participated in the preliminary round online preliminary round six top teams from each zone participated in the zonal semi-final and top four teams winners of the zonal finals are here to participate in the grand finale and to become the champion in the national event i request mr gotham Bose to take the stage and take the event forward Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. It's a great pleasure and privilege to welcome all of you to this grand finale of uh, Banking Chanakya 2017, the first ever interbank quiz contest. Let's call the teams one by one on stage. RBI Chandigarh, the winners of the North Zone, may I please welcome Vikramjeet and Abhay on stage, a team from Sita Madhi, PNB. Let's welcome Vipul and Karun. Let's welcome the winners of the West Zone, RBI Nagpur. And it's represented by Tejas and Gaurav. Let's welcome RBI Hyderabad, Krishna and Vishal. Let's clap for them once again. Very, very well done, all of you. To begin the quiz with a round that I call the launch pad. The rules of the game are as follows. One direct question to each team, plus 10 points flat scoring. Questions do pass. All the best once again to all the teams. May the best team win. And first question of this round, if you look carefully at the picture, Tribute in Light is essentially an installation of about 88 searchlights. Now, the reason that they were installed was in remembrance of the 9-11 victims. Think logically, what very practical reason they are high beam lights, 88 searchlights, and they are switched off on 20 minutes interval each day. Why do you think this was prompted? Uh, some aircraft uh, for airways transportation. And I'm afraid that's not the right answer. I have to move on to team three. Interference of satellites. No, I have to uh, pass that to team number four. Uh, so I'll go with uh, overheating. Think logically. Overheating of whom? The searchlights itself? No, see, the, it's made of 88 high power light, okay? Okay. So, because of continuous burning, it might get overheated, the surrounding and all. No, not really. More practical reason. Moving on to team one. And something which has a uh, little bit to do with the environment as such. Team one. Is it because of the Earth Day, which we do it? The Earth Day. I'm afraid nobody gets any points on this one as well. The simple reason is migratory birds, the lights are so powerful that they get caught into the searchlight. So they are periodically switched off to allow the migratory birds to escape. That was the logical reason. Team 3, all the best. Here comes your question on the screen. In an effort to make mountaineering safer and decrease the death toll, the climbing season of 2018, Nepal for the first time has put a ban on what specific form of mountain climbing? Local Sherpas, uh, they use the, the local techniques. Uh. So they are banned. The local Sherpas are banned. No, no. <clears throat> Might I add something to you? If they are banned, not too many people would actually get to summit the Everest. Number four. So usually the north side, north face of the mountain is the most uh, difficult okay. to climb and it results in a lot of death. I, All right. So we are guessing uh, Nepal has banned uh, climbing the Everest from that end. Is incorrect. Moving on to team number one. Solo climbing has been banned. Wonderful. Well done. Let's clap for them. First 10 points, opening 10 points going to RBI Chandigarh. Wonderful answer. With that, ladies and gentlemen, we come to the close of the first round. We'll have a look at the scores after the end of the second round. So without wasting any more time, straight away, let's go to the second round, please. All right, here are the rules of the game. The round, I call it Incredible India. Answers would be about India, Indianness, and things connected to our motherland. And the scoring pattern are as follows. 10 points for correct answer. No negatives at all. 
and questions do pass. So all the best once again. First question to team number one. Which battle was fought on the 1st of January, 1818, between the British East India Company and the Peshwa faction of the Maratha Confederacy? A 28,000 strong force led by Peshwa Bajira II whilst on the way to attack the company held Pune were unexpectedly met by a 800 strong company forces. T1, what's your answer? So, Battle of Bhima Koregaon. Battle of Bhima Koregaon. Well done. 10 points is what they pick up. Easy pickings there for RBI Chandigarh. I hope Team 2 also uh, gets their 10 points. Here comes your question on the screen now. Poknapam is a pretty famous news publication coming out from the Pal. Very recently, upon the death of Sudeep Dottobhomik, a journalist, they did something which has been done in the past by the Indian Express during the emergency. What do you think they did? Team 3. Can't give you any more time. Bouncing that off to Team 4. So, they had a blank editorial page. Blank. Well done. Let's clap for them. Well done. A blank editorial page. And that's the editorial page that I'm talking about. To protest the death or the killing of the journalist, they came out with a blank editorial page, which was famously done by Indian Express during the emergency. All right. We have the scores there. RBI Chandigarh on 20 points, leading the quiz. Still early days. Uh, PNB yet to open their account uh, and uh, RBI Nagpur. Better luck to both the teams in the following rounds. RBI Hyderabad on 10 points. The next round is something which is a very high scoring round. I call it recorded. So there are two parts to this question. I need both parts to be answered. You'll have to identify the gentleman who's speaking. And the second part is, he is the managing director and CEO of which organization? Is finding the money a big, I mean, the biggest problem? Uh, I don't think money is going to be the problem if you actually have the right framework to attract investments in infrastructure. I think what we've experienced over the last three, four years is the fact that while you can talk about returns to developers being suboptimal, I'm surprised Team 2 is still thinking on this one. Have to bounce that back to Team 1. Uh, Mr. Vikram Lemai, uh, Director and CEO of National Stock Exchange. Well done. Right on both counts. That is indeed uh, Mr. Vikram Lemai and he has the National Stock Exchange of India Limited. Full 10 points to Team number 1. All right then. So then we are done with the third round of the quiz. Let's go to the next round, money-wise, which means two things. One could be easy pickings because all the four teams up here on stage are bankers who've been working long enough. This round is specific to banking, currency, finance, and trade. But might I add, it's not a technical round. We did not intend to ask any technical questions in this quiz, but it would be somehow related to the world that you deal with in your daily life. What is the name given to specific accounts? which are generally held by a third-party bank other than the account maintaining bank or with whom the account is maintained. What are such accounts called? You are making it sound and look difficult. Escrow I didn't think account? So. Escrow account. No, it's not the escrow account. Moving to team two. Loro, Loro account. Abai. Loro account. Well done. Ten points. These are the Loro Accounts. Very, very well answered. Ten points. That might prove costly for team number three. Next direct is for team two. Here comes your question on the screen. All right. Talking about the world of cryptocurrencies, the in thing, as they say. In 2013, this 19-year-old genius published a white paper which mentioned something that is now one of the biggest players in its field. Receiving the PL Fellowship, he started working on it full-time. On June 2017, he became the subject of a death hoax which caused the prices to tumble. What did he co-found is my question. Uh, Ripple? Is incorrect. I'm sure one, one of the teams is going to give me the right answer. Yes, team one. It, Ethereum. Ethereum is what you mean. I'll grant that to you. Well done. 10 points is what they get. Ethereum it is. One of the most successful cryptocurrencies and uh, 
probably many of us aspire to own bits of it. All right, 10 points to team number one. The last question of this round is the direct for RBI Chandigarh. In currency and commodity trading, what name is given to the property of a good or a commodity whose individual units are essentially interchangeable? So the operative word here is interchangeable. I've given you an example as well. Let's say since one kilogram of pure gold is equivalent to another kilogram of pure gold, whether in any form, be it in the form of coin, ingots, or in other states, it is said to exhibit this property. So what is this property of interchangeability in a commodity called? This is a direct for team RBI Chandigarh. Yes, team one, I have uh, given you enough latitude on this one. Need a quick answer now. Have to pass you. Moving to team four. Uh, we'll go with uh, fungible. Fungibility, ladies and gentlemen, 10 points. Well done. It is fungibility. We often use the term fungibility uh, about coins, about currency. Well worked out. Here comes your scores on the screen. RBI Chandigarh tied up with RBI Hyderabad on the first spot on 50 points apiece. PNB on 20 and RBI Nagpur on 10 points. Let's zoom in to the next round, Fast and the Curious. Interesting round. As the name of the round suggests, you have to be fast and you have to be curious. Curious enough to answer my questions. Look sharp on the buzzer. All the best. First question on the screen. Here it comes. Cyclone Oki, which recently hit large... Yes, team number three. You need I. to answer quickly. I. Well done. Ten points. I. Oki literally means I in Bengali. Next question on the buzzer. Here it comes on your screen. The 16th Man is a ESPN documentary featuring the story that is team number one once again. Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela it is. Ten points. World Gold Council ranks the gold holdings of countries and that was team one. Yes. IMF. Quick. IMF is on the third spot. The ranking is led by US followed by Germany and team RBI things. The third constituent in this ranking is IMF. Ladies and gentlemen, that's not an easy answer to get right. Well done. Ten points. So we'll go straight into the next round. We are left with a few more rounds. Let's go to the next round. It's a little different from the rounds that you have seen until now. Can we go to the next slide, please? Just listed is the name of the round. It's a non-passing round. Hence, the direction of the round is inconsequential. A question has eight options, five of which are correct and three are incorrect. Teams, what you have to do is identify the five correct components assigned to the question. Scoring are as follows. With each correct identification, you get plus five points. But the downside is the moment you give me a wrong answer, your gameplay stops. Here comes your question on the screen. Companies who have or had licenses to operate white label ATMs. Mind you, have or had, which means present or in the past. And your options are Muthut Finance, Mahindra, DLF, Prism, Maruti, Hitachi, BTI Payments, Tata's. Tata. Tata, let's start with Tata. That's the obvious one. Five points. Tata Communications. Uh, BTI Payments. BTI Payments. Payments. Let's click BTI Payments. 10 points. Prism. Prism. Let's click Prism, which is also correct. 15 points. Two more to go. You don't have much time, Team 4. Hitachi. Hitachi. Surprise, surprise. They're absolutely right. Let's click Hitachi. Only one more to go. If you identify one more, I'll give you another bonus five points as well. DLF. That, I'm afraid, is wrong. Is not DLF. The other obvious one, which you did not go for, I thought you would have gone for it much earlier, is Muthut Finance. Let's click Muthut Finance. So that about does it, ladies and gentlemen, for this round. Let's clap for all the teams who have picked up some points. So teams who haven't picked up too many points as yet, I would suggest them to look a little proactive. I call this round, take your pick. Now listen to the rules of the round carefully. You will be shown about six 
different topics. Each team, one at a time, would have the option of choosing their favorite topic from the list that we have for you. On each topic, there are two questions. One, the base level. The next one is the summit level, which means the first question does not pass. It can only be answered on a direct for five points. If you give me the correct answer, you earn five points. If you don't, I'll give you the right answer. And the second question is for 10 points, which is a passing question. First, let's have a look at the options that we have for the teams. First crack would be taken by team RBI Chandigarh. Let's go to the next slide, please. These are the options that we have for you. Bankers. Bankers would mean people, banks, anything to do with banks. Indian economists, wildlife, women in finance, sports, and lifestyle. All right, let's go back to the options. Now towards team three, what option do you wish to choose? Sports. Sports is your choice and sports is what you will get. Let's go to sports, please. Here is your first question, which is really, really simple. Former footballer and Liberia's new president-elect, George Uya, became the first non-European player to win which sporting honor way back in 1995? Ballon d'Or. Five points. The Ballon d'Or. Absolutely right. Second question of the sports round, which is now a passing question. Here it comes on your screen. Talking about a very famous lady cricketer, for the first time, an Indian woman cricketer made it both to ICT, ODI and E20 teams of the year, which is a very rare distinction. Name this cricketer who was part of the Indian team to reach the finals of the 2017 Women's World Cup. Poonam Raut. Poonam Raut is incorrect. Moving that to team four. Jhulan Goswami does not look like that. No, moving to towards team one. Uh, Mithali Raj. Mithali Raj also does not look like that, I'm afraid. Bouncing that towards team two. Harsimrat Kaur. All fantastic lady cricketers, but none of them is the answer that I'm looking for. Here comes the answer, Ekta Bisht. All right, slight changes in the standing, but RBI Hyderabad leading with 95 points. Let's clap for them. RBI Chandigarh, very, very close on 85 points, PNB Sitamari on 25, and RBI Nagpur on 35 points. I'm left with just one round. I call this round the closing bell. Each right answer would fetch you 10 points. Questions do pass. All the best to all the teams. All right, having said that, team number four, here comes your direct question on the screen. The name of which animal? It is given to an investor or a speculator who subscribes to a new issue, expecting the price of the stock to rise immediately upon the start of trading. The sole purpose of such an investor is to sell the shares soon after allotment to realize a quick profit. Yes, team four, I need an answer now. Kaku. Kaku. No, it's not the kaku. Moving on to team number three. Deer. Deer. With a double E or a E A? Double E. All right, moving that to team two. Horse trading. No, to RBI Chandigarh. Shark investor. Shark. I'm afraid that's not the exact answer I was looking for. Anybody in the audience who wants to take a try? Bull, 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 bull. It's not a bull. It's not a bull. Stag. Incredible answer. Ladies and gentlemen, let's clap for him. Last question of the quiz. While many temples in South India contain a shrine dedicated to each of them separately, but in Assam, it has this entire ensemble together. My question is, what is this Hindu temple dedicated to? Lord Vishnu. So the temple, all of them are avatars of Lord Vishnu. Good thinking, but not good enough to fetch you any points. So let me take that right at the back to the gentleman there. Kamakya. Kamakya is your answer is incorrect. Yes? Navagra. Ladies and gentlemen, wonderful answer coming from the audience. Wonderful. Navagraha. 
are the nine major celestial bodies of Hindu astronomy. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's have a final look of this course coming up on the screen. And ladies and gentlemen, RBI Hyderabad are the winners of the first ever interbank quiz contest, the Banking Chanakya Quiz. Well done to them. RBI Chandigarh, who also did splendidly well, they should also get an equal thunderous round of applause. Well done to you for being the runners-up of this quiz. PNB Sita Marie, they, win, they end the quiz on 25 points, and RBI Nagpur end the quiz with 35 points. We have two very distinguished gentlemen in the audience. First of all, let me first introduce the CEO of IIBF, Dr. Jivendu Mishra. Thank you, sir, for being here. May I kindly request you to come up on stage, please? <laughs> Mr. P.C. Kantpal, Chief General Manager, Head Strategic Training Unit of SBI. Let's clap for them, please. For the winners of this quiz. Well done, gentlemen. Well done.